There's this thing that happens once a year where people of all walks of life and all interests can get together and let their geek flag fly high. This is PinguinCon. Like many of you, I live in many worlds. I am uh, Jason, the Linux guy. Um, other days, I'm Jason, the filmmaker. Other days, I am Jason, the webmaster, and Jason, the inspiring writer. Being here at PinguinCon, and because of all of you, I get to be just Jason. fascinated by this and this is what I've learned about it on the way. This is absolutely one of the coolest environments I've ever been in. I come here for you know, just a weekend long party. There's always something new to learn. It's like we are on a gigantic party bus. The accelerator is taped down. No one knows. Like we're all we're all grabbing the steering wheel and we're sort of all steering it together. And it's it's terrifying and yet it all works out so incredibly well. And we throw crazy parties, and we, we have panels, and we teach each other what we know. And we bond and have an incredible weekend, and it's, it's magic. I'm Johnny Maynard, the Tron Guy. I've been to every Penguin Con, starting from the very first. I am Captain Sparrow, the Con Chair for 2013. My name's Jim Hines, I'm a fantasy author, and I am this year's guest of honor. Uh, my name's Mike Schmidt, I'm, I'm from Germany, I'm, I'm a software developer and a writer. I'm Jason Denzel, I'm the uh, founder of DragonMount.com. Um, I'm here at PenguinCon and having a wonderful time. I am inverse phase, I've just been blipping all weekend. How's the experience been for you here? Very awesome. I am having a blast. PenguinCon, I get here and no matter what I feel like, what I want to do, I can come out into the hotel and find it. The people that go to science fiction conventions are also the kind of people who do other kinds of geeky things, and PenguinCon's really the only con that brings all of that together. It's uh, such a great opportunity to meet people like myself who are both um, into technical interests and also into uh, genre media. So I did the uh, annual Dominion tournament. Uh, I did a uh, sci-fi on the radio. That was a great radio play. I mean, that was that was a highlight. That was so much fun. There's a lot of good filmmaking panels that have been happening so far. The giant telescope that was out last night. That was awesome. I was looking at the 3D modeling courses because those are pretty cool. It was entitled Programmers and Sparkly Code Princesses. So diverse in terms of interests and costumes. This costume was debuted at PenguinCon nine years ago. I like just somebody else's skin on it. The talk by, by Jeff Potter about the science of cooking that was awesome. The LN2 panel was awesome. Jalapeno vodka ice cream last night, and that was ridiculous and amazing and fantastic, and I'll do it again. So was open soda. I mean, like, really, it was just great to, like, go to tastings at a convention. This is the badge from All Hands Active in 934. So people are just making these. You put a series of uh, LEDs in here. The, the code is open sourced, or about to be when Mel finishes it. They're pretty bitchin'. All proceeds go to fund the hacker space and their continued awesomeness. These specialists have programming skills. They could uh, take it home and hack it. <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Um, it's a big LED touch panel, essentially. It's still not quite all worked out yet, but um, you can place music uh, samples across the board. And parallel programming in C-sharp and all that was excellent. Uh, I myself gave a talk about building your own video game console using an Arduino. Like, I'm gonna go check out the chiptunes thing. I'm gonna go see about PCI Express. <laughs> it's an introduction to sensor work on the Arduino. So if you already know how to do Arduino and make lights flash and whatnot, here's how to make sensors. But it was fascinating to hear that stuff. And it's like anything and everything nerd culture, basically. We're doing this in a super professional way, but with a complete irreverence and playfulness. I 
always have that feeling of, damn, I gotta be there for PangoCon every year. I go to a bunch of conventions. PangoCon is by far my favorite of any of them. And be surrounded by people who maybe not quite like me, but accept me exactly for who I am. Or they may be just like me too. And we have a lot of fun. For me, it's actually the stuff that I contribute, you know, or being a presenter. So that's where the core of the fun is. Um, I feel absolutely at home here. I will most definitely be back. If I'm not DJing, I will still be back. PenguinCon is one of the few things that I would move heaven and earth to be at. I haven't missed one, I don't intend to. Hold up the song.